Out there, I'm Jim Heskett, the Juggling Author, and if you listen to my podcast, the Juggling Author Podcast, you probably have heard me been talking lately about how I made the switch from Trello to the Mac app agenda, the Mac only, Mac and iOS only app agenda. There's a there's an app for desktop, and there's an iOS app, and uh, you might have seen my video on Trello, so I'm going to be expanding on that kind of a bit because I've made the switch from Trello to agenda. I love Agenda after a little bit of an adjustment period, um, and so this is my main go-to productivity app. So let's take a little tour of it, and I, I still love Agenda, but I mean, I still love Trello, but I think Agenda does what I'm looking for a little better, because Trello is basically just a Kanban or Kanban, depending on how you pronounce it, a board for organizing to-dos, but Agenda can do that, but it's not exactly Kanban, but It also has the note-taking ability that I really like. It's a combination to-do list and note-taker. And it starts off with the ability to import from Mac Notes, which um, I really like. So I've got all of my notes here. And one thing that's really nice um, is so you can can make a note. then you can you can put it on the agenda and I'll talk about that in a second or mark it as done you can pin it to the top and basically once you've got a note you can put whatever text you want in it so it can be just a simple to do to saying to do this what I do um, generally let me find a good example of it here what I do is if it's just a simple note then it's something like this if it's got text inside of it then I put a little colon to let me to remind me that it's got text inside of it that I might want to use so I imported over from Trello my um, style of do now, do next, do later, and do someday. And so I review these all of these lists every few days, and then I move things from do next to do now, et cetera, et cetera. And then I've got all my notes over here. You see I have basically like different folders over here, and like I'm keeping track of what's going on my mailing list and ideas for Patreon, my writing, my publication schedule, my schedule to make videos, and then when I'm done with something I drag it into the archive but the main thing that I really like about this is that there in addition to just having these lists where I can just put whatever notes I want over here I can um, you can use today so you can assign a date to something and you can even tie it to a specific meeting you see I'm recording this on Valentine's Day so if I wanted to tie this to Valentine's Day I could link any of my notes in here to a specific calendar event and that's really useful if you if you have a lot of meetings uh, or you block out time, you can associate a note with a specific calendar event. So when you go look at that calendar event in the past, you can see whatever notes you had. So this is really useful in like a day job kind of setting. If you are taking like minutes for a meeting, then you can tie these notes back to that. But what I really like is I don't use the today. I don't really assign dates to notes very often, but what I really like is this feature called on the agenda. So any of your notes, You can take, you can go into any individual note and you can mark it as on the agenda just by tapping that. And then when you go to on the agenda, you'll see all the things from all your various notes that I marked as on the agenda. That one I just included there, center general notes, and you see it's here, it's marked as on the agenda. So then I can mark it as done or remove it from the agenda. So whatever here is on my on the agenda list, this is all basically stuff that. I need to be aware of this is like whatever I'm working on right now because not everything I'm working on right now I would put in the do now project some things like um, uh, I have a long list of ideas for my podcast that I keep here under the juggling episode ideas and this is something that I'm always I'm working my podcast usually several days a week so I want to keep this here on the agenda so that it is first and foremost and I know that coming soon I'm going to need to write this email so I marked it as on the agenda so whenever I open up this app whatever is on the agenda is the first thing that I look at and so I really like that because then I can put um, you know I can put a bunch of note you know I can make these lists really really long if I want and it's all collapsed inside there so there's a ton of stuff over here but it's all very clean and it looks basically just like this on the iOS app. Um, so if I have a quick note about something I want to jot down, I can just drop it over here into into notes. Or if it's something that is a project that's going to have multiple um, facets, you know, like it's a very long checklist, I can include that. But then I always know what I'm working on by linking on the agenda right here. 
Um, I hope this video has been useful if you're looking for an app that combines productivity, if you're looking for an app that combines a to-do list and a note-taking software, I think this on the agenda, this uh, app that's called Agenda is pretty great. It's free, but then you can pay to get certain pro features like the ability to have inline images and some other stuff. Um, so I think it's worth the money and uh, I hope you are having an awesome day. Take care.